Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-eight in chapter twenty-two. Chapter twenty-two is about the Gaussian's law. So we look at this system. We tell it tell us we have a spherical, uh, rubber object, right? It can extend from the radius r naught to two r naught in time t. Now we need to determine the electric field density as a function of time. First one, the location is just outside the surface. The next one is r is equal to three point two r naught. So we can see this one. Now, how can we decide this radius of this spherical rubber balloon object? So we can see the slope is the change is two r naught minus r naught, right? The change of the radius r naught divided by time taken capital T. So initial point is r naught. In this one, we can get the function for r. We can see this r changes with time t. Agree? Now we can see it tells us we need to determine the electric field just outside of the surface. So it is at zero. Agree? If we want to find the electric field density, we need to draw a Gaussian surface. So we draw a Gaussian surface. Just oh, at this surface, you can draw it. Look like this one. Oh, sorry. Just at this boundary. Just at this boundary. Yes. Now we can see the enclosed charge inside this Gaussian surface is what. Is the total charge Q uniformly distributed on its surface, right? So this is Q as there, there it just expands. So the charge is Q. Therefore, we can apply Gaussian's rule. We use the electric field density times the surface Gaussian surface equals the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, right? This Gaussian surface it tells us it is just outside the Uh, but the object is surface, so the radius is uh, r, right? So in this case, we can see we write the functions for e as the e q divided by four pi epsilon naught r square, and then replace r by this term. So then you input the, this r inside, you get the answer. Look like this one. Mm -hmm. The next one is tell you. Find the electric field density at r equal to three point two r naught. You can see it is at zero. If we draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one, right? And then when this spherical rubber object extends, does the enclosed charge changes? No, right? It is still the total charge Q on the surface, so enclosed charge will not change. And then we can apply Gaussian's rule: electric field density times Gaussian surface equals the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So we can write a function look like this one, and this R is a constant, three point two R naught. You input it there, then you get the final answer. Thank you.